Hello kids, welcome to another fun day of learning mathematics. My name is Mr. Dine Barry. <laughs> Just call me Mr. Dine. Together, we shall learn how to add and subtract numbers and objects in this lesson. So, let's get to it immediately. Every day, we put things together or take things away. How? When we put things together, we do something called addition. When we remove something from something else, this action is called subtraction. Let's take for instance, when eating cereal, you take a spoon out of the bowl, then you take more and more till you finish the whole cereal in the bowl. Addition and subtraction happens when you do this. How? By taking more than one spoon, you are adding to the one you have already taken previously until you become full. Also. For every spoon you take out, you are subtracting from the amount in the bowl until it becomes empty. Easy, right? Addition means putting things together to create something bigger. And the symbol for addition is the plus sign. So, addition is simply adding or taking more while subtraction is taking away from something. Or better still, making less of something. And the symbol for subtraction is the minus sign. This gets interesting. Stay with me kids. So for instance, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. 1 plus 1 gives us 2. Great! Look at what we have here. A balloon. Oh wow! We have two more balloons. And these are blue balloons. Great! Now, how many balloons do we have all together? Let us add all the balloons we can see. One red balloon plus two blue balloons equals three. Yeah! Now, we have three balloons. Good job, kids. Now, let us look at another example. What do we have here? If you said birds, you are correct. We all love birds in the sky. And how many birds do we see here? One, two, and three. <laughs> if I take away one bird from these three birds, how many birds would we have left? We would be left with two birds. Good job, kids. Can you see how easy it is to subtract things? Great. Shall we try another subtraction? All right, let's do it. Remember, Subtraction is all about taking away from something. So, does anyone know what we have here? Hmm, it is very yummy. <laughs> yes, it's an ice cream. I'm sure we all love ice creams. Let us count how many cones of ice cream we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven! Excellent! If I take away four ice cream cones from the seven we see, how many ice cream cones would we have left? Let us count together. One, two, and three. So there we go. Seven minus four equals three. Fantastic! You are doing great subtracting. Now, let us play a little game. I'm sure it will be fun. So quickly, tell me what we have here. Quite a lot of footballs, right? <laughs> we play football in our homes and also at the playground. But proper football is played on a football pitch, just like this one. So, together, let us add up all the balls on both sides of the football pitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent, kids. Remember, addition is simply adding to something. We have come to the end of our lesson on addition and subtraction. So for now, bye.